Hi, it's David with Precision Zone. Today we're going to be talking about alarm fault codes that can occur on the Escala CIMR MT2 series spindle drives. Alarm information is going to be located on the left hand side of the drive uh, with the white LEDs. The green LEDs are for status indications uh, and so please keep that in mind. Uh, alarms that you can uh, receive on these drives would be uh, if you're having issues with your braking, uh, say an over voltage on braking, uh, likely you do have an issue with the regen section of this drive. Uh, in that case, not much to do. Uh, you would need to get that drive repaired. Uh, similarly, over voltage uh, is very similar to under voltage. Uh, you have an issue with your power coming into the drive. In those cases, you want to verify that your incoming power is within range. Uh, if it's not, you want to correct that first before continuing to operate the drive. Other drive related alarms, you can get an OH alarm, which would be a uh, drive overheat, uh, in, that, in which case you could have an issue with that sensor uh, detecting the temperature of the heat sink, or more likely you have a problem with uh, the cooling of the drive. Uh, you want to verify that the heat sink can, is, is clean, uh, there's no gunk, there's no garbage, and the fan's working properly so that the drive can be properly cooled. Uh, if you're getting that overheat alarm, you can also be getting a fan C alarm, which would be an issue with the controller fan, and that's related to the heat sink as well. Uh, another fan alarm that you can get is a fan M, which would indicate a spindle motor fan issue. Uh, you want to verify, in that case, you want to verify that your uh, motor is being properly cooled. This could also be causing an overload alarm, an OL alarm. So in both of, with both of those alarms, you want to verify the conditions in which the spindle motor is operating in, as that could be causing uh, one of those two alarms. You want to verify that your fan's working properly and that, the, that your motor is being properly cooled. Uh, other motor-related alarms, you can get an OC alarm, which is an overcurrent, uh, and that's going to be indicating that there's mo low motor insulation uh, to ground, or it could also be low cable insulation to ground. In those cases, if you have a mega available, you want to verify the integrity of your insulation uh, to ground, uh, and you can check those out. If any of those readings are low, that's likely the cause for that alarm. A lot of times when you do get overcurrents during operation, uh, it's very likely that there could have been uh, other damage to the drive, uh, such as the AC fuse alarm or the DC fuse alarm. In those cases, it's indicating that a fuse has been tripped in the drive. Uh, in both of those cases, you want to verify uh, that your drive's in good condition, so you'd want to send that out for an, a thorough evaluation of the drive, as it could have caused other damages to the circuitry in the drive. Uh, lastly, uh, the alarms that, that could, you could also be getting are the DEV or the OS, which are speed deviation and an overspeed alarm. Those cases could be caused by either incorrect feedback uh, from the spindle motor to the drive. Uh, it could also be a connection issue between the feedback and the motor or a connection issue between the motor and the drive itself. Uh, it could also indicate that there, there's a problem with the settings uh, set by the drive and it would need some proper tuning. Uh, so please keep that in mind. All these alarms can be triggered by faulty control circuitry as well. Uh, so if you have any other issues or, or questions or for further troubleshooting, please contact Precision Zone. Our team of professional technicians recondition and test these drives in custom built simulators and machines along with providing a six month warranty for all repairs, exchanges and sales.